Yo, let's talk about taking business advice from other business owners. What's happening, everybody? Boy Big Brando, and today we're gonna be talking all about should you take business advice from other business owners? Now, this is a very slippery slope and it all depends on how you value somebody else's opinion and how you value somebody else's knowledge. Even if you're in the same sort of business with the person that's giving you advice, you have to be cautious about that advice and see if it fits within your own reality. Now, with that being said, I'm somebody that gives a lot of business advice here on YouTube majority of the people that watch me are in the same space as me. We all make t-shirts. We all sell t-shirts. We all press t-shirts, print t-shirts. We decorate on t-shirts. But even the advice and the information that I share is only based around my business and my personal reality. You have to see if whatever I'm talking about fits within your reality. And that's the bottom line when it comes to advice in general. Nothing nobody says is the law, meaning there's no type of advice that somebody can give you that is going to guarantee you success. Because at the end of the day, all you're listening to is somebody's opinion on how a business should be ran. So please ingrain that into your brain first. Understand that your business is your business. Now, listening to somebody else's advice, getting information from somebody, all that stuff is beneficial and can be helpful to you and your business. But once again, you have to take that information and apply it to you and your business because not everything's going to work. Not every piece of advice is going to work, but I like to share the information with the people about what goes on within my business to provide extra options for somebody that wasn't privy to the things that I do. But also I'm doing it just in hopes of sparking an idea in that person's brain to build off of what I'm talking about. Now in business, you're going to run into a ton of other business owners. You're also going to run into a lot of people that want to own businesses, but are too scared to own their own business, but they have their own idea about how a business should be ran. So you're going to encounter so much information and so much advice from all of these different people. It is up to you to navigate through the bullshit because 80% of the stuff people are going to tell you is bullshit. It'll hold no value and it just sounds good. Most people hear somebody say something, they recycle that information and pass it off as if it's their own information. So some people haven't even practiced what they're preaching to you. They're just recycling the information to make themselves sound cool. There's so many people that do it here on YouTube. So you have to be able to navigate through the bullshit. That's going to be crucial in taking advice from anybody. I say this all the time in almost every video and it's take your t-shirt selling advice from somebody that actually sells t-shirts. There's so many people giving t-shirt selling advice, but they don't even listen to their own advice or they haven't even did what they're talking about. They just heard somebody else say it and it sounded good to them and they're relaying the message back to you. You gotta be able to like really work your way around all the nonsense there and really be like, bitch, you don't even sell shit. Like you have to really, really understand when people are trying to tell you stuff or give you advice and they don't have nothing to show for it or they don't have nothing to back it up. Your BS meter has to be going off and it's like, man, wait a minute, this motherfucker trying to tell me how to sell some t-shirts and he ain't even sold no t-shirts using this tactic yet. He's a fraud. And you also have to remember there's a lot of YouTube content creators out there that are passing off this information about how to sell t-shirts. But what you really have to unpack is they're not really selling t-shirts to strangers. They're selling a lot of their t-shirts to their following. So since they already have a following built in to their YouTube channel or social media, they're just selling t-shirts to those people. So some of the tactics that they're talking about, they're not actually doing, but they have the numbers to show for it because they're selling to their audience. So the information they should be sharing is how to build the audience and not necessarily necessarily how to sell the t-shirts. You get what I'm saying? You have to be able to look at certain things like that and be like, wait a minute, this doesn't add up. But like for myself, I talk about selling t-shirts all the time. Do you guys have to listen to everything I say? No. Do you have to do what I do? No, but I'm here to show you like, hey, here's me actually selling t-shirts. I have a retail store that I actually sell t-shirts in. I have online stores that I sell t-shirts in. I'm out vending selling these t-shirts. You guys see 
me selling t-shirts. So that's the information that I share about my business is how to sell these t-shirts, why I make relatable designs, why I try to make the sell easier on myself. These are just the things that work for me and that's why I share it with you guys. But it doesn't mean that's the only way to do things. It also doesn't mean that I'm the best at doing this. All this means is this is what I found to work for myself and it's been working so far. And that's why I'm sharing the information because if I can make a little bit of money selling these t-shirts, I'm gonna teach you that strategy so you can do the same for yourself. And that information is very transparent here on this channel. But that's why I really harp on actually selling the t-shirts because not a lot of people talk about selling the t-shirts, how to make the sale easier on yourself. Majority of the t-shirt content creators are showing you guys how to actually press the transfers onto the t-shirt and create the shirt, but not a lot of people are talking about how to sell the shirt. That's where my channel comes in. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is how I sell t-shirts. This is the target audience I'm trying to sell them to. This is how I'm finding that target audience. This is why I'm making these designs look like this so it appeals to that target audience. All of that is on how I sell t-shirts, making the design relatable to the end user. So remember, whenever you're taking business advice from somebody, turn your BS meter on, figure out how you're gonna navigate through all the fluff and the fake shit and the BS that this person's talking about to actually get the nuggets that are actually usable for your business. Because a lot of times when people are giving business advice, yeah, there are some things that are beneficial to your business, but not everything said is gonna benefit you. When you guys watch my channel, I'm hoping that you guys just take a little bit of the information that I share, and maybe you watch another channel and take a little information from that person, watch a different channel and take a little information from that person, and then you put it all together and make it work for yourself. That's my hope. Because I can't tell you how many times somebody has came to me with this genius business idea that I'm not doing or how I'm gonna be making millions of dollars or collabs that people want me to do that's gonna help benefit my business. I always entertain what people are talking about, but I also understand if it doesn't work for me and it doesn't fit within my reality, it's not for me. I'm not gonna try to adjust my life to make it fit my reality. If it doesn't align with what I'm doing and what my end goal is, I'm not up for that type of change. And I might be losing out on a ton of money, but I know what I'm doing is working for me. And this is what I'm confident in on building my business up. I'm gonna stick to my guns and do what I feel confident in. Because at the end of the day, like I said, my business is my business. There's so many people out there that try to mimic other people's business models or they try to mimic other people's business persona that they're too wrapped up in trying to be somebody else instead of doing for themselves. And that's where a lot of people fail. I see a lot of people fall hard when they're trying to be like somebody else and they're doing what somebody else is doing instead of trusting their own gut instinct and saying, hey, you know what? What that person's doing looks cool, but that ain't me. That's not my personality. That's not the way I wanna conduct business. They might be wildly successful at what they're doing, but that's not for me. I feel more comfortable going at my own pace. Cruising at my own speed is how I operate. I don't entertain the bullshit. I don't let somebody else set the pace for me. I do what I wanna do because I started my business to be my own boss, to work on my own terms. I only do what works for me. And the faster you learn that and the faster you understand that, the better your path to success is gonna be. Because the moment you start to bend and listen to every outside influence that's around you, that's the moment you're gonna lose focus on what your actual end goal is because you're gonna be constantly playing catch up to somebody else's ideas, somebody else's dream, somebody else's experience. You need to create your own dreams, create your own path, and accomplish your own goals. So remember, whenever you're listening to somebody give you some million dollar idea, or they're giving you business advice and they own their own business, the advice they're giving you is what works for them. It's up to you to listen to whatever they're saying and apply what matters to you, but you don't have to apply everything because once again, that's somebody else's experience. That's somebody else's views on business. If you started your own business, keep it your own business. Only you knows what's best for you. The business owner that's giving you advice is just sharing what works for them. And if somebody's giving you business advice and they don't own their own business, all they're doing 
is sharing their dream with you. You already got one up on them because you are already turning your dream into a reality. They're still in the dreaming phase and their own fears are blocking them from actually doing what you're doing. So remember, man, just navigate through the bullshit whenever you hear somebody trying to give you some business advice, share some information with you. Even myself, you watch me turn the bullshit meter on and be like, you know what? That doesn't apply to me. What he's talking about has no business within my business. And I'm fine with that because at the end of the day, I'm just sharing what works for me, hoping that it might work for you. I don't know everything. I'm not the best in the business. I just know what I do turns good profit and I wanna share that information with you so you can increase your profit. And that's it. Now, if you got any questions for me, make sure you leave it in the comments, please. Always best to ask any questions in the comments. I get to them faster. I try to go back and forth with everybody that I see in my app. So if you're looking for a response, it's always best to put it in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. You could ask questions in those comments too. That's where you can see me actually working in the shop and seeing what I do when creating t-shirts, hats, and the products that I sell, all right? Catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.